What's going on boys and girls? What's going on YouTube? It is the launch day for Metroid Dread. So, from me to you, I hope that your day is dreadful. Thankfully guys, we were lucky enough to get our hands on the Metroid Dread Special Edition that I have right here. So thankfully I was able to secure the pre-order for this very, very early on. Like the moment it got announced within like 60 seconds, I had this secured from Best Buy and I went to go pick it up this morning because it was, it was ready and I was so lucky. Now this is gorgeous and I was so excited to get my hands on it. There is one downfall if you are still trying to nab your special edition or if it just hasn't come in yet because we all know when you order from retailers like Target, Walmart, GameStop, they use different services like the USPS, like FedEx, etc. So you might have a couple of days or you might have gotten lucky like me today. So I'm going to tell you everything that comes in here and the one downfall of picking up this specific copy of Metroid Dread. Now I want to go ahead and show you guys here. So here's the, here's the box here. So here's kind of how uh, the outer shell looks like here. Here's kind of the two sides of it. And then you have the beautiful artwork right here on the back. Now this artwork, my only uh, critique of it, I guess you could say, is it's ex extremely shiny. As you can see, like it is extremely shiny. It kind of has like that holographic type look. Love it or hate it, I probably would have liked the matte just a little bit better just so it's not so shiny but at the end of the day it's gonna be on my shelf just like this so let's go ahead and take a look at everything that comes inside of here and i'll walk you guys straight through so let's go okay so let's take a look at everything that is going to be inside of the metroid dread special edition here so if you look right here on the back you can see that it includes the steel book it includes the art book and it includes the art card. So let's go ahead and let's jump in here. Okay, so let's look at the couple of things here. So let's look at the first thing here, which is the Metroid book. So let's take a look at that and we're going to move this one right over here too. So let's take a look here at the Metroid book. So this one here is the full book that uh, we have in here. So let's actually, let's open this book up so we can see kind of what it looks like and what's inside of this guy. So we have Metroid, the Metroid logs, and it's a journal. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open this up here. So here is the book. So let's take a look at just kind of let's flip through the pages here on what we can expect. So let's see on what we can expect here. So if we look at some of the pages, I don't want to spoil anything. So uh, a lot of different artwork for the actual Metroid Dread. Oh my God, it looks like Zordon right there. That looks really cool. So a lot of just different art that we can get inside of the book. So I'll show you guys there. So you can see like the different enemies that we're going to be facing and stuff. So really, really gorgeous looking book. Look at all the different Samuses that we have. So really gorgeous looking book that you get. Uh, looks like we get some OG Samus uh, in here as well. So really love that. I really love being able to get books like this uh, for the collection, for the you know, for the bookshelves and stuff. So let's go ahead and put this to the side uh, just over here. So actually, let me move this right off camera here. All right, next thing let's look at is the steel book. So if we look at that steel book there, we get our, our girl Samus looking really nice. Let's look at the spine. Uh, this is a big one that I have that I told you guys earlier. I'm not a big fan of, of uh, no no name on the spine. Some of them, like Persona 5 Strikers, Crosscode, the still books, they have the name on the spine. I think that's a must, but you know, okay. Uh, not much on the back, so let's open it up here. And we see the inside there, the Samus, uh, the Samus kind of uh, logo. And then we can see the Metroid Dread cart right there. So let's take the cart out and let's just take a look at that. So there's the cart there for everybody to see. And that looks really good. You know, we're gonna we're gonna lick it later. We're gonna lick it later. And then the other thing that we have in here is the uh, the art card. So let's take a look at the art cards here. So let's open let's open that up, and we'll take a look at all of the art cards that we have in here. And I like how it has like this little sleeve. The sleeve kind of reminds like the old NES games. Uh, I like that quite a bit. It has that nice glossy tone to it as well. And let's remove the art card. Oh, okay. So immediately in here, we get the old school Samus from uh, Super Metroid. 
or from the original Metroid, looks like. This, yeah, it's from the original Metroid, apologies. Uh, then we get, oh, the Return of Samus. Also the art that is used on the 3DS version. I like that one quite a bit. Okay, then we get Super Metroid. So you guys see the art there for Super Metroid. Then we get Metroid Fusion. Love Metroid Fusion. Played this for endless hours on the GBA. Love this a lot. Then we get the art card for Metroid Dread. Love that. I, I wonder why they didn't include Zero Mission. Maybe because it's a remake, I guess. So it looks like they didn't include any of the remakes. They just included the main entry. So they're basically saying, play Metroid, play Return of Samus, play Super Metroid, play Metroid Fusion, and then you finish it off with Dread. All right. So that has been everything that is included here in the special edition of Metroid Dread, as you guys see laid out just as so. And with this specifically, my only downfall is this here. There is no actual game. So if you want to display this on your bookcase or your shelf, wherever it is, you're going to have a spineless name and you don't have the original game. I hate, I absolutely hate when games do that. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. They did the exact same thing with the uh, Fire Emblem Special Edition. They did the exact same thing there too. But that has been the Metroid Dread Special Edition. Uh, and one little uh, extra tidbit is the beautiful Amiibos. Uh, the beautiful Amiibos here. So these were the Amiibos as well. Um, will I be unpacking these? I don't know, but I'm not doing it on a video and I don't know if I'm going to even take these out because these are just, this is a gorgeous set. Thank you guys for joining this unboxing. I appreciate you guys being here. We'll see you on the next video and I hope you stop by a Metroid Dread stream on Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays, especially this launch weekend. Peace out, friends.